What's up guys? Justin here with the RenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to animate a transition between different options inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to take um, basically a scene that we've created inside of one of our models. And by the way, this is one of the example models that comes along with Lumion. So um, this particular example is the Villa Cabrera model. So you can go in here and you can actually follow along and do this yourself. The first thing I've done is I've created two different layers in here. I've created a layer three and a layer four with a pair of different options in them. So um, because of that, and I have one object that needs to be moved onto this other layer. There we go. So now I can switch between the two options just by swapping these layer visibilities. Now we'll link to a video down below showing you how to do that. But what we want to do now is we want to create a video that kind of transitions between the different options. And this is something I talked about last week. It was based on a blog post on Lumion's website where they've got kind of this animated transition going on. I can't figure out how to do exactly this transition inside of Lumion without some kind of a video um, program to really kind of animate those transitions differently. But I am going to show you a way to create an animation where you transition between a couple different options. If anyone knows how to do exactly this in Lumion, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to go into movie mode because we're going to create a movie. And so we're going to go into movie mode and what we need to do is we need to set up our different scenes. But the first thing I want to do, because I don't want to delete out all of these, uh, all of these default views that are in here, I I don't want to I don't want to delete out all of these clips because I like these and I may want to keep them and so what we want to do is we want to create a new clip set and so that's really easy to do just go in here and click on clip set 2 clip set 2 is just going to let you create a second set of clips it's going to be separate from this first one so this is almost like creating a new movie inside of Lumion and so what we want to do is we want to do the same thing we always do when we create a movie we're going to click on record now we're going to start off and we need to set our camera views for our transitions. So for this one, we're going to take our camera view, maybe open up our focal length just a little bit, um, something like this maybe. And we're just going to animate a very simple transition, maybe between this view and something like this. So just a really quick animation between this view and this view right here. So that's given us a quick view where our camera kind of flies through this scene. And you can adjust the length of that clip by clicking the up and down arrows right here. So I'm gonna set this to about four seconds. And then I'm gonna click pause and I'm gonna click okay. And what that's done is that's created a clip in here of this flying through our model with this option active. And so for now, what I want to do is I want to create another view, kind of the same fly through. For what we're doing here, we're just going to kind of use the same view. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, I'm just doing it for simplicity's sake. It probably doesn't make for the best video. But if we save that and go back to our movie mode now, if we were to click on the whole movie, the whole movie is going to be eight seconds long and you're going to have two different scenes. One is going to fly through like this and then the second one is basically the same thing just uh, repeated in here. Well now what we want to do is we want to take our second clip, clip number two, and we want to swap out the furniture. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to come in here and we're going to add an effect and inside your your effects, there's an option in here for scene and animation. And so scene and animation is gonna allow you to click on this button for layer visibility. And so what layer visibility is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to adjust which layers are visible. And so you can see how when you first pull this up and we're in our second clip, um, it's not gonna let you click on any of these different layers. So you can see how this right here is representative of all the layers I have inside of Lumion. Well, what we wanna do is we want to set this up so in this clip a different set of layers is visible and so in order to do that we need to start off and we need to create a keyframe so our keyframe is going to allow us to set where this layer visibility should start so in this case i want this to be at the very beginning because it's my second clip and so i'm just going to go in here and i'm going to turn on layer two 
and I'm going to turn off layer 3. And so now, if I play this clip, I have the same kind of animation through this scene, but it has a different set of layers active. And so if I was to click on the button for entire movie and we were to play this whole movie, we'd have one scene where this flies through with kind of your couch and your furniture. Then you've got a second scene in here that flies through showing your other set of furniture. So your stuff on layer that's set on layer two. And so what this allows us to do is this allows us to kind of duplicate this scene in here. And one thing we might consider doing if we wanted to is instead of repeating this same clip over and over again, we might go in here and edit this clip so that it's got a different set of camera angles. So like for example, let's say instead of repeating the same thing over and over again, I created a photo here on the inside and a photo here on the outside. So what that means is instead of just repeating the same thing over and over again, I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna delete out these scenes so that this clip now starts from about where the old one stopped. So now if I click OK, and then I click and play my entire movie, I've got my layer one or my layer two active here, and then my other layer over here. And so that gives us a kind of nice view of what these different options could look like. But the only problem with that is this is very abrupt when it changes between these different scenes. So we want to add a fade in and fade out. And so what we want to do is we want to add a fade out on our first clip at the very end, and then we want to add a fade in on the second one so this kind of fades between the different options. And so in order to do that, I'm first going to go in in my first clip and I'm going to go into my effects and I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to find the option for fade in or fade out. And so what fade in or fade out is going to do is that's going to let us set the duration of this fade. So you can see how right now in this first clip it fades in in the beginning and then it fades out at the end. So you can see how this gives us kind of a nice transition into and out of our scene. And then we do the, sec the same thing on the second clip where we'd add a fade in or out there. So now if we were to play the whole movie, this fades in, then it's gonna fade out for the first clip and it's gonna fade back in on that second option right here. So what that allows us to do is smoothly fade between the two options right in here. And one thing I don't necessarily like about this is I don't like it fading to black between them. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust those fade in and outs so that they fade as kind of a blur rather than a black. And so if I click on blur, you can see how this is gonna create the same effect in here, but instead of it fading to black, you can see how it's fading to kind of a blurred view. So now this kind of blurs between your different options in here. It gives you more of a smooth, kind of more organic feel in here. The other thing I don't necessarily want is I don't want a big fade out on this one. So I'm gonna take the out duration and I'm just gonna set that to zero. So now at the end of the second clip, it's not actually gonna fade out like it was before. It's just gonna kind of stop. And so the other thing I might do is I might reduce the length of the transition between these two scenes because you can see how this gives you actually a pretty long transition between these two scenes. I'm gonna turn that down just a bit by clipping, clicking on my clip and going to fade in duration. I'm gonna take that from one second to a half second. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this other one. So I'm gonna take my out and I'm gonna fade it to a half second as well. And so you can see how what that's gonna allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to adjust the length of this transition in the middle. You can see how now that takes about a second instead of two seconds. So the other thing I wanna do, and this is the nice thing about the way that all this works, is where before we were applying these to individual clips, well I wanna take all of them and I wanna apply the same overall style to them. So you can just click on entire movie and you can see how in addition to each one of these clips having their own effect stacks, um, if you click an entire movie, this will have its own effect stack as well. And so let's say we were to go in here and load one of our presets. So we'll just click on this and do file, load effects. And saving these presets can be really helpful because um, you can just load them really quickly. So I have my realistic shadows for YouTube that I pretty much always use when I load in this effect. 
You can see how now this has these realistic shadows in here. And the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to add a real sky. So I'm going to make sure I have my overall movie selected. Then I'm just going to go into my effects. I'm going to find a real sky. I'll see if I can find one that kind of has the lighting that I want. This one's not too bad. Um, I might for this video take something. I'm trying to find one that's just going to cast a little more light on my interior um, without having my shadows look ultra heavy. I think you're going to get a lot of shadows just because of the way this scene is set up. But we're going to see if we can find one that kind of lights the scene a little better. So this one isn't too bad, so we'll just go with this. So once you've got this kind of set up the way that you want it, um, I may adjust the fade in on this one just a little bit here too. I don't want this to be ultra long either, um, but I'm just going to look at my scene. I like the way my scene looks. So I'm just going to take my entire movie and I'll just play it one more time to make sure it looks kind of the way that I want it to look. So I've got my transition between my different scenes where this flies around. And then once you're done with this, you just take the whole thing um, and I'm going to click on entire movie. But now we're just going to take the scene and we're just going to click on the button for render movie. And if you remember, render movie allows you to set your output quality. It allows you to set your number of frames per second. Usually I set these to either HD or full HD. And then I'm just going to click on this and I'm just going to run this and I'm going to call this option transition animation, I'm going to click save. And this is just going to go through and it's going to render out all of our different scenes and stitch them into a movie. And you can see how this tells you how long that's going to last. So this is going to go ahead and this is going to create our movie. So I'll come back when this is done rendering. All right, so the rendering is complete. I'm just going to click on the button for open folder. That'll open the folder that this gets loaded in on and then I can just double click in here to play my animation. So you can see how my animation is moving through here and I've got this transition between my different options. So I think this does a pretty good job of conveying what those different options are. And you know, this is something where I might go through and maybe adjust the length or something like this. But overall, I think this gives you a pretty good idea of how you can take an animation that transitions between different options and create that easily inside of Lumion. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you created animations like this in Lumion before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.